Patchface is one of the most creepy and mysterious side characters in A Song of Ice and Fire. His songs could be prophetic and even Melisandre is afraid of him. Let's start with what we know about Patchface. Stefan Baratheon found him in Volantis and brought him home to Westeros. Sad that the ship they were on sank and everybody on it drowned except for Patchface. However, the new Patchface was not very good at amusing anyone and, and has since been the fool of Stannis Baratheon. During the timeline of the story he is most known for his seemingly prophetic songs and finally at the wall Melisandre finds him dangerous and her enemy. So the most important things about Patrice are 1. Melisandre's opinion about him, 2. his seemingly prophetic songs and 3. his amazing survival at the storm of storm's end. Now let's talk about the survival that is the most important thing that affects who he is now. We know that before the shipwreck Patrice was very funny, intelligent and acrobatic, which is why he was bought in the first place. But this is not the Patrice we meet in our story. This Patrice can only badly sing in one language while the other knew four. It's also a mystery how did Patrice survive. Keep in mind he was in water for three days and even people in our story are baffled. Also when Patrice was dragged from the water he was so cold no one even knew he was alive. But how could all this happen? How did Patrice survive the shipwreck when no one else did? How did he survive being in the water for three days? How was he alive despite being cold as ice? How did he forget all of his skills and knowledge? Unless, of course, he didn't survive, but is actually dead, a corpse puppet controlled by telekinesis. It would explain a lot. It would explain how he survived the shipwreck and three days at sea. It would explain the complete change of character he had. It would explain how he forgot all he knew before. Of course, Petra is surviving impossible things, having a complete change of character and losing memories is very reminiscent of Beric Dondarrion surviving impossible things, losing memory and having a complete change of character. So on a side note, I wonder is Beric also a corpse? Well he is described as a scarecrow, and a scarecrow is a fake man put up to impersonate a real man. Now back to Patrice. If Patrice is really a corpse puppet, puppet, that means that there's a puppeteer controlling him. Now obviously this could be anyone. But the shipwreck did happen a long time ago, around, tw around 25 years earlier. So it's not an any new player, like say the Shrouded Lord. Now there are only uh, two important things left about Patrice. His seemingly prophetic songs and Melisandre thinks him his enemy. The only other people we know Melisandre thinks her enemy, aside from the others, are Blood Raven and the Children of the Forest. So I surmise that Patrice is likely their puppet, and possibly so is Beric Dondarrion as he sits on a railroad throne, just like Blood Raven. Now I'm not certain whether Patrice is controlled by Blood Raven directly or by Children of the Forest. Not that it matters as they are in a blended consciousness, but it's likely the Children of the Forest, as they are famous for singing, just like Patchface. Now we could talk about his prophetic dream songs, but I don't think they're that important, because if you squint hard enough, almost anything can be read into prophecy. And a final question, is Patrice going to be important in the future of our story? Well, if he is going to be important, it will likely happen very soon, in whatever plans Melisandre has for resurrection of, resurrection of Jon Snow. So, I hope this video was entertaining and thoughtful, introducing new ideas. If you want to discuss the video, please no show sto spoilers, as I have not watched season 6 yet. And I won't do, do so until the Winds of Winter is out. Next time we'll be revisiting some of Danny's adventures in the Dothraki Sea. See you then.